back. If you want to try your hand at gardening this season but aren't sure if you have the skills like me, don't worry about it. Carson is back to tell us how to avoid common gardening mistakes many new gardeners might make. Hey, Carson, what are these big mistakes that people are making? <laughs> Well, and I feel bad for saying it and more for mocking new gardeners, but <laughs> new homeowners get it wrong every single time, myself included. I've made some mistakes. I'm sure you have, too. Uh, yeah, I know that we had a, uh, a Japanese maple that just wouldn't grow, and I think we were pruning it wrong. So you learn as you go along, and you help me a lot with my backyard. We're not even going to talk about that before and after. Um, so <laughs> We're not going there. We're not going there. Um, what do you want to start with? Do you want to start with the lawn? Yeah, let's start with grass. A lot of new homeowners have moved out of urban centers into areas where they have bigger yards. And grass has been a real interesting problem because about 10 years ago, there was this whole ad campaign about weed and feed. And people thought that that's what they should be doing for their lawn. And that's actually wrong. So we're going to set the record straight. So the first thing you're going to do for your lawn is you're going to deal with the weeds. You got to spray the weeds or get rid of the weeds and you want to get out there earlier and you want to do it on sunny days like this so that any broadleaf herbicides or organic herbicides that you choose to use will get absorbed better into the weeds. Then you want to wait at least two weeks. After two weeks, that's when you're going to get out the fertilizer and you're going to start spreading the fertilizer around the grass <laughs> because then you're feeding the grass and not the weeds. That's what people always get wrong. And when it comes to seeding the lawn, we're going to wait until it's nice and warm outside before we do it. And we're going to seed the lawn after we fertilize and then we're going to fertilize again. Now, when people see the lawn, you can't just do what I just did. You can't just throw it out there and think, hey, it's going to grow. All you're going to get is a lot of birds eating the seeds. You need to mix grass seed with soil before you put it down on the lawn. It's the seed to soil contact that's going to make this grow. Once you've done your grass seed, three weeks after spraying your herbicides, you're going to fertilize one more time, one week after the new grass seed has started to germinate. For all those reasons you just listed, this is why I don't have a lawn. And when you came to do my yard, you were like, uh, are you guys going to be okay with the high maintenance lawn? And we were like, absolutely not. So we have everything else going on, but no lawn. So what if you're like me, uh, you don't have a lawn, or what if you're working with a patio or a balcony? Yeah, the biggest trend this year, and I'm going to show you over here, is people are bringing their indoor plants outside. And I love the idea. Everybody got invested into indoor plants this year, and it's fantastic. Lots of green. But when you bring these plants outside, you have to be careful, and you have to take your time. And I'm going to show you a leaf here. As an example, this guy is burnt, and it got burnt because I've had it in the sun too long. Indoor house plants can't handle the increased sunlight right away. It takes them a little longer to get used to it, so you have to bring them inside, bring them outside, back and forth over a few days to help them build up their ability to handle all the sunlight. And when you bring them outside, you have to fertilize and you have to increase your watering. If you don't, these flower pots dry out a lot faster outside than they would inside. But I have a scarier thing for you, Tracy. This. Not the pillow itself is scary, but this is a <laughs> pillow that I had out over the winter time under a covered porch, and I'm going to show you what happened to it. This is mold. Ew. Mold grows on indoor pillows if you put them outside. So don't think that you can put this out on your porch or your patio, and it's raining out, and then the sun dries it off, and that everything's going to be okay. Indoor pillows are not treated with a, something that's going to stop the mold from growing. So be very careful bringing indoor items outside. Um, anything you want to tell us about growing veggies, Carson? Yeah, growing veggies can be done in any capacity. Just make sure you're paying attention to what you're planting in. The same soil that works for your tropicals isn't what's going to be best for your vegetables. Look for soils that are specifically designed for vegetables. And you want keywords like organic and veggie and herbs. These are the things that are going to indicate that the soil is right for you. Not all soil is equal. Buy the right one for the right growing. Thank you for your great tips. We love you. Just walk away. Just walk away. You can love find you <laughs> all those tips on our website, cityline.tv.